I remember some story I'd heard from you or Grandma about being in church together and seeing a fly buzzing around and landing on a bald guy's head. Oh, yeah. I don't remember that, but she does. See, did you farm then, right after you were married? Let me see. Well, I wor worked, worked here. We lived on his place, a uh, farm uh, over west of town here. Mm -hmm. Worked there a year, and then, then I farmed, then I started working at the booster station. Where did you move then from? From uh, or where did you live when you got married? And mom was born then, next year. Let me see, I believe on his place. For no, he was at her folks that first summer. Your mom was about a year old when we lived at the his place. Was that what was that like, the his place? You know, twenty seven cows farming, you know, just regular gen general farming. Was that out by Heiser? No, uh, just west of town about three or four miles here. Oh. Along the creek? No, uh And then, did you, where did you move from there? That's when we moved uh, Heiser on the farm. I farmed a year on that place. And that's when I got a job with the boost station. The his place, that, that's the place I remember Grandma telling about where or when you first moved in there, she had to clean it all up, and they had the bed bugs, and she had to put the she put the the is it the high chair or the bed legs in in a pan a pie pan full of gasoline kerosene, so they couldn't the bed bugs couldn't get back in. Couldn't I don't come. remember that. There's one place she told about. I think that was where you were forming. Where was the place? Maybe you didn't know about it. <laughs> where was the place that had the snakes, the, the rock house? That was North Albert when, they were, when I worked at the booster station there at Albert. They were, must have been pretty bad in that. Oh, uh, yeah, they were. Then did you move from there to the place at Albert? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then of course there, well I don't remember how many years, then in the bush and then here. I think we said that uh, you moved to, to Bushton. Let's see, it was in uh, 59 and 60. Yeah. We moved to Albert in 41, I believe. I remember the thing I remember about the Albert place was that your pickup would be there and then you'd have these barrels, empty barrels. We used to go out there and play like we were a rodeo and, and jump off the pickup and ride the barrels in. And I also remember, remember the go-kart? Some boy there in the neighborhood to have a go-kart. I always wanted you to build me a go kart. <laughs> that always looked like fun. Well, oh, I remember you you uh, making a frog trap. Yeah. Remember yeah. that? Cut, cut frog. Cut the frog. The frog Toad. Trap. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good old place, that Albert place. And Grandma would um, 
and we were all there and restless, um, Kathy and you and I, and I think maybe even Rick, she'd have us go on nature hunts. She'd give each of us a paper bag, and they were supposed to go out to the woods there and just pick up everything we could find. And we'd come back with leaves or, you know, nature things, come back with leaves and rocks and different things. And, oh, she acted like they were treasures then. <laughs> when she, when we brought the sacks back to things, to show her the things we found, she just acted like we brought back solid gold and pearls and <laughs> gold and... I don't even remember who that was that had that gold card, unless it was Jackie Rich or something. Well, it seemed like there's a house just down to the south, about so a, a quarter of a mile or a block, two blocks. That big old house to the south, it seems like. Your your road kind of went in front of your house and that turned and went south. It yeah, like. turned and south. I might be wrong, though. I, mean, I, mean, I believe it was right on the corner there. It was I'm pretty sure it must have been Jackie Rich or something. Fill up those, it, but it was some water in the basement. But it didn't get up into the house. I, guess. Mm. I know we seem like we put sandbags around and we worked quite a, quite a bit. I remember them having to carry Grandma out to the truck. Mm -hmm. And they had to, you know, the, it seemed like the water was up, this, up to the porch, top of the porch steps. Or that water was clear over the roads. Mm. Now, when you worked at the Bushton plant, what kinds of things did you do? Well, take care of the engine, you know, and oil them, and, and you have to watch what things, you know, to watch like that. How did you learn about the engines and machinery? Did you? Just experience, you know, uh -huh. just got a job and learn, you know, the guys is working there, they of course help you and all, and it just... How'd you learn the barbering? I remember you cut my hair. Went to barber school about six weeks in Kansas City. I didn't know that. Kind of barber school. Did you ever open up a shop or? Hmm. I worked in the Great Bend barber shop about a month once. Mm -hmm. Did you decide you just didn't want to do that? Or? Yeah, it seemed like the, you couldn't make enough at it. They didn't have long hair like they do now. <laughs> so, that's when the haircuts was a quarter. Yeah. Shaves, 15 cents. I remember when you cut my hair, you'd always find bugs. <laughs> bugs in my hair. You always sing to me, it ain't gonna rain no more. You remember that? Yeah. Do you cut other people's?